wants to apply for citizenship. Yeah, but then his name, Marcos Yamera, would be on it. You see, this one's blank. The INS doesn't give it out like this. Forgery? Well, it's hard to understand why else he'd have it taped to the backside of a drawer. Small time hood trying to prove to someone he's a citizen. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he's doing it for somebody else. Castillo. This is the other Castillo. Listen up. I met a little hangout they call the Beach Bar. I'm with Tony Richards, and it's a private party. But you know, hey, some of us are welcome anywhere. You got anything yet? Yes, I do. Our friend Marcos is here. And he's being real extra nice with a lot of the guests. To tell you the truth, I don't think he's the type of person that would have been on the invitation list, not with these people. Well, that's interesting, because the, the first informant we had said he got his drugs from some guy at the beach during a party. Well, he's not here serving hors d'oeuvres, that much I can tell you. Well, anything on the girl yet? Yeah, she, uh, she smells great. She has a great sense of uh, rhythm. Come again? Well, I'm trying to gain her confidence right now, but you know how grueling police work can be. Uh, I don't think I should move too fast on this one, buddy, because I don't want her to get suspicious. Well, Rick, I don't want you Even to move. Which, listen, here, here, here she comes. I've got to go. Bye. So, my brother thinks that Yamera may have some kind of action going down at the beach bar. He's probably the guy that sold Rob the ice. Let's bring him in for questioning. I'll set up a lineup, and we can uh, have Rob uh, identify this guy. Yeah, now. that'd be that'd be good, except that... We don't want to scare him off yet, you know? Plus, a lawyer would get him on the street in 15 minutes with what we have right now. You think Marcos killed fellows and tried to kill Eden? I don't know, man, but I think we're about to find out. And Vic... If he did, he's mine. Uh-huh. So basically, what you're telling me is you can't narrow it down any more than this? Yeah, keep trying. Thank you. Well, it looks like we still have five possible connections to those suppliers. Thought we ruled out the Philippines. Apparently, we can't just yet. I'm out of here, man. I'm gonna make myself a shadow on Mr. Yamira tonight. So you're gonna follow him yourself, huh? Yeah. What's the matter? You think I lost my touch or something? No. I think you're starting to take this whole case a little too personally. Oh, now why would I do that? I mean, they only killed uh, one of my best friends and tried to kill my wife. Uh, you know that wasn't about you, Cruz. You know that. Vic. Vic, you're not gonna tell me now that it was just good business practice on their part, are you? I mean, I know that, right? And Marcos, you think he's got all the answers? I don't know what he's got. I don't think he's on top. If we were making the kind of money that whoever's behind this is making, he wouldn't be working the street. Oh, man. If he's the guy, I mean, we're gonna have to run a full investigation. I know, I know. It's gonna have to include Nikki. I really want to believe in her, you know? I hope she doesn't let you down. I mean, I was just... Starting to get attached to her myself. Yeah, we, we need to remember that she is innocent until proven guilty. Chris, when you get a feeling, a gut feeling about a case like this, you're usually right. You think there's more to this than we've already seen? Oh, I think there's definitely more to it. The question is, what? Catch you later. All right. Then you were tailing Marcos tonight. Huh? Yeah, I was. So? Did you come up with something? <sighs> Michael, I know you don't want to believe this, but I'd be willing to bet Marcos is our man, or at least one of them. Look, I told you I could believe that. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, look, well, what I'm saying is I don't believe that it proves. I don't want to believe it either. I helped Nikki get on the force, for God's sake. But if Marcos is involved in this drug ream, there's a damn good chance she is too. Deep down, you know that. 
I just hope when the, when the time comes, you're ready to face it. Well, I'm not going to have to face it because I know you're wrong. Uh-huh. You know, the more often you say that, the less you sound like you mean it. Excuse me. is you're not safe here anymore. Those people have targeted you and we can't assume they're gonna let go until they know you're out of the picture. They could very well come back and try again. I can't let it happen. 